Hello dear students, how are you? I hope that you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also good. I discussed right form of verbs in our previous class. Today, I will discuss the rest of the rules of right form of verbs. This class is for the students of class 9 and 10. Though I have, read, I have written that uh, this class is for the students of class 9 and 10, all the students from class 6 to 12 can follow this lecture. So, let's go for next. Right form of verbs. See, today I will discuss conditional sentences. We will divide conditional sentences into two parts, real conditions and unreal conditions. See, the sentences that are possibly true will go in real conditions and the sentences that are possibly not true will go in unreal conditions. See, real conditions, possibly true. Real conditions, possibly true. See the rule number 15. We will see three types of sentences in real conditions. We will see three types of sentences in real conditions. Future time, habitual, and command. Future time, habitual, and command. See, future time, habitual, and command. We will see three types of sentences in real conditions. Future time, habitual, and command. See the structure. If plus subject plus simple present tense, I mean present indefinite tense, then will or can or may or must plus verb in simple form. That means if plus present indef indefinite tense, then we will put will or can or may or must according to the context, according to the context. Will or can or may or must according, according to the context plus verb in simple form. See the example. If I have enough time, if I have enough time, I will go to the beach. If I have enough time, I will go to the beach. See, match with the structure. Match with the structure. If, if, then subject. See, the subject, I. Simple present tense, I mean present indefinite tense. See, have, have. This is a main verb here. This is a main verb here. Have. This is a main verb here. This is not an auxiliary. This is not an auxiliary. If we had used this one, I mean if we, ha we had used have as an auxiliary, we would have given a verb after this one and it would be if I have had, if I had, I had had. See, this is an, this is a main verb. No, this is not an auxiliary. This is not an auxiliary. See this one. If, if, subject, subject have, then simple present tense, I mean present indefinite. See this one, present indefinite, have. This is not an auxiliary. This is the main verb here. Then, will or can or may or must according to the context see will verb in simple form verb in simple form go match with the structure match with the structure if if subject subject i simple present tense see have 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 See this one, simple present tense, I mean present indefinite tense, have enough time. See? We will put a comma, then subject, then will or can or may or must according to the context. See? We have given will. 
then verb in simple form verb in simple form go see real conditions and unreal conditions I mean conditional sentences are very important for the exam then let's go for next see habitual habitual oh see one thing see if I have enough time I will go to the beach if I have enough time I will go to the beach so this is possibly true this is possibly true if you have enough time you will go to the beach this is possibly true I mean this is possible this is possible if you have the time you will go to the beach this is possible okay if this one is possible so this is a real conditional sentence if the action is possible then it goes into real conditions see this one habitual see the structure if plus subject plus simple present tense then plus simple present tense I mean if plus simple present tense plus simple present tense I mean if plus present indefinite plus present indefinite see this one see if he has enough time if he has enough time see he usually walks to school I mean if John has enough time he usually walks to school see John usually walks to school if he has enough time John usually walks to school if he has enough time see this is possibly true I mean this is possible this is possible if John has enough time he walks to school this is possible so this is a sentence in real conditions see real conditional sentence this is possibly true this is possible since the action is possible it is in real conditions see match with the structure if if you can put if here see this one if you use the word if in the middle of a sentence you need not to put a comma you need not to put a comma there if you use the word if in the middle of a sentence you need not to put a comma but if you use the word if at the beginning of a sentence you need to put a comma in the middle of a sentence see this one match with the structure if if simple present tense see simple present tense he has he has here the word has is not an auxiliary this is a main verb this is a main verb if if simple present tense I mean present indefinite tense present indefinite tense he has then simple present tense see John usually walks to school simple present tense my dear students please write down the structure and the example otherwise you will not be able to keep those structures and examples in your mind I mean you will forget those things I'm going slowly I'm giving you some time to write down the structures and the examples as well My dear students see this one is not an auxiliary 
I have said, see, this one is not an auxiliary. If this had been an auxiliary, we would have given a main verb after the word has. See, if the word has had been an auxiliary, we would have given a main verb after the word has. I think you have written the structure and the example. So let's go for next. Comment. At first see the example. If you go to the post office, please mail this letter for me. If you go to the post office, please mail this letter for me. Match with the structure. If, if, subject, subject, you. Simple present tense, I mean present indefinite tense. See, present indefinite tense. Present form of the verb, go, see. If, if, subject, subject, simple present tense, see, simple present tense, I mean present indefinite tense. See, command form, this one is the command form, mail, mail, this one is the command form, mail, see. A common form starts with the simple, I mean with the present form of the verb. A common form, a common form begins with the present form of the verb. See, male, present form of a verb. I repeat, see this one, example. Example, if you go to the post office, please mail this letter for me. See, if, 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 subject, subject, simple present tense, simple present tense, go, go, simple present tense, present indefinite tense. Then, command form, see, mail, this one is the command form. Command form begins with the present form of the verb, mail. And then, rest of that sentence rest of the sentence please write down the structure and, and example My dear students, now I will discuss unreal conditions. Now I will discuss unreal conditions. See? Unreal conditions. Not true. Not true. You will see that the work will not be possible the work will not be possible so this is the unreal condition see unreal conditions not true i mean not possible not possible the work will not be possible at first see the example if i had enough money if i had enough money I would help you if I had enough money I would help you see the structure match with the structure if 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 subject subject see simple present tense simple present simple past tense sorry simple simple past tense see I mean past indefinite tense see had had the word had is a main verb here the word had is a main verb here had this is not an auxiliary. If the word had had been an auxiliary, we would have given a main verb after the word had. See, match with, this, match with the structure. If, 
if subject subject i simple past tense simple past tense that means past indefinite tense c had this is a main verb have had had the present form is have the past form is had the past participle form is had see if i had this is the past form of the word have see if if subject subject i simple past tense that mean past indefinite tense see had that is past indefinite okay then rest of the clause then plus would or could or might would or could or might according to the context according to the context see would see i would would according according to the context i would help you see verb in simple form verb in simple form verb in simple form see verb in verb in simple form help verb in simple form help in your exam they will give you see if i had enough money i would blank i mean dash you in your exam you will see see i'm giving you an example how it will come in your exam see they will give you if i had enough money if i had enough money i would blank i mean dash then you then you will have to give the present form of the verb you will have to give i mean you will have to write the present form of the verb if you use past form or the past participle form you will not get the mark see in unreal conditions you will see two types of sentences in unreal conditions you will see two types of sentences see present or future time past time see now we will go for next see the past time see the past time i think this one is clear to you if i had enough money i would help you see now if you tell me to help you i mean uh if you want to borrow some money from me now if you want to borrow some money from me see i say uh if i had enough money if i had enough money i would help you that means i do not have enough money i do not have enough money to help you so this is not possible this is not possible as this is not possible this one is a unreal condition this one is a unreal condition why this is called conditional sentences because there is a condition why this is called a conditional sentence you will see there is a condition there is a condition in conditional sentences you will see there is a condition and they give you the condition they give you the condition with the word if or had if or had see these two words are used to give you a condition if see if i had enough money i would help you if i had enough money i would help you 
my dear students see suppose now you are asking some money I mean uh, now you want to borrow some money from me now you want to borrow some money from me I'm telling you that if I had enough money I would help you if I would have enough money I would help you that is that means I don't have enough money that means I don't have enough money so I am unable to help you so I am unable to help you I think this is clear to you okay let's go for next see the past time see the past time see this one occurs in present time and this one occurred in the past this one occurs in present time this one occurred in the past see past time see the example if I had had a lot of time if I had had a lot of time see this one I mean the first head is an auxiliary the first head is an auxiliary and the second head is a main verb here is a main verb here I have told you that the past participle form of the word have is had have had had my dear students I think you know that have is the present form of a verb I mean have is the present form the past form of the word have is had the past form is had the past participle form in past participle form is had see the fa the first had is an auxiliary here and the second had is a main verb here this one is the past participle form the second head the word see the the the, the second head is the past participle form of the verb have match with the structure see if if subject past perfect I mean past perfect okay I had had a lot of money see this one is the past perfect this one is the past perfect I had had this one is the past perfect first head is an auxiliary and the second head is the past participle form of the word have see the second head is the past participle form of the verb have if I had had a lot of time a lot of money I would have helped you I would have helped you that means I didn't have a lot of money that means I didn't have a lot 